Oh, we got a live one. We got a live. Let's go. Pin the hip. Pin the hip. All right. All right. We got a live one. Let's go. The, uh, the Idaho State Bengals, we knew it was going to be a tough game. They're a well coach. They play hard, and uh, they always seem to give UND trouble. Homecoming and the 53rd edition of the Potato Bowl all rolled into one here at Grand Forks. And I think offensively, we had a, a strong showing in the first half. Brings up second and 14 from the 32. Santiago on the delay. Space down the right side. John Santiago towing the sidelines and walking in for six. Number 22 delivers on the opening possession. All game, man, let's go. Third down and three for Ketteringham. Good catch by Toivonen. Travis Toivonen reaching. He's got the first down, and he's got the touchdown. It's a 14-6 game, and I really think that fumble when we lost it going in, you know, that was a big swing. And then with Oliveira, a fumble here, loose football, and the Bengals will recover in the end zone. You know, stuff happens. You know, you can't point fingers at no one, and uh, you just got to, you know, have the next play mentality and move on. And because if you just, you know, dwell on that last play, then, you know, you're never going to grow from it. First and goal from the two. Madison on the zone play again, finds Pater this time. All right, let's go, Gray. Offense played well the first half, and then the defense it was playing uh, not too well. And then uh, it switched at half. And you know, we can't allow that if we want to win big games. More pressure coming. Guller finding the other Guller. Mitch this time. He hurdles a man. And Mitch Guller off to the races. Evan Holman pursuits. Guller's going to find the end zone. Let's go. Let's win it right here. Let's play you can win. Play you can win. You can. Draw play to Santiago. John makes a man miss. And he's got the first down. And more. North Dakota trailing by four. Ketteringham on 4th and 11. End zone for Wansick intercepted. 
in a hard-fought battle here today. He knew it was going to be. Bubba Schweigert's team comes up four points short. We really thought we had that. It just it was disappointing to see. Um, I think we just needed the consistency part needs to be there. We just had so many opportunities after watching the film that we could have played a lot better. Like personally, for myself, that was probably one of like the, the hardest, hardest things to swallow in my career here. Disappointing loss, but uh, as we always say, we got to get over it and move forward. Let's go, let's go, let's go! After a loss like that, you get 24 hours to process, to learn, to think about it, and to be mad about it. And then after that, I was like, hey, you gotta move on. It's, it's time for the next opponent, it's time for the next game. Bouncing back from a loss, you know, you either bounce back from where you don't. People win and people lose, and you just gotta bounce back every week. All of our goals are still in front of us. Uh, everything's still in our hands the whole season. Like, nothing's lost yet, so. You just got to keep working, work harder, and uh, everything will work out. I'm a competitor, and all my teammates are competitors, and we want to be the best. We want to be the best in the country, so we have a lot to work on and a lot to improve to you know, be at the top. If we can play what we consider that bad and still have a close game, then once we're firing all, on all cylinders, we should be dangerous. Let's keep building this week. Let's stay together here. Everybody pulling the rope the same direction. We're going to be out in Colorado, you know, they're always a good team, they have good skill players, but we just got to buy into the system, be able to go out there and compete the full 60 minutes and uh, trust the coaches and trust ourselves. I have still 100% confidence in all my guys here that, you know, we are a great football team and we're going to show the world that we are a great football team.